In, in this tutorial, uh, let us try and dissect uh, the racer uh, dot Java we have been looking at and uh, see how JPF can actually help us uh, in finding a problem in an application. Uh, so uh, JPF is uh, <coughs> pretty good at finding uh, uh, race conditions. So this is a very naive example for a race uh, applic application which has a, a race flaw in it. Uh, so there is this uh, uh, racer. Uh, it implements runnable. So uh, there's a thread that's being created, a child thread out here, and uh, there is we are starting this child thread. And uh, as soon as it gets started, uh, it uh, calls the run and it uh, does something and the something is uh, it's put to sleep for almost uh, these this much amount of time and uh, it definitely sleeps for this much amount of time that's what Java guarantees and after that it gets awakened up and uh, then it sets uh, the value D to 0 and at the same time uh, the main thread comes here and it does something and that something is uh, sleeping for 1000 milliseconds um, and uh, after that it's trying to divide 420 by racer.d that is 42 uh, and then they're, uh, they're assuring the value uh, so if you look at it here <coughs> the thread or uh, the child thread is definitely sleeping for this much amount of time which is a little longer time than uh, the main thread so if it actually properly sleeps for this much amount of time and then uh, uh, th uh, the main thread uh, gets to execute this first then uh, everything is fine in the happy world uh, you'll get 10 uh, but uh, Java doesn't provide any guarantee uh, about uh, when the thread uh, gets to the run state uh, from the sleep state <laughs> so it can pick up anything but it definitely gives a guarantee of this much amount of time it has to sleep but in this case there is a potential that uh, the child thread could set d to zero because uh, the main thread didn't get to the run runnable state uh, and uh, as soon as it sets d to zero um, the main thread gets to execute this portion of the line and then it does uh, divide by zero which is uh, an exception right <coughs> in a so I have changed this code a little bit I have assigned the uh, thread name and I put a s out uh, here about to sleep and I'm awake uh, first try, let's try to run this in uh, as a normal Java application uh, so I right click it and then I run the file just asking my NetBeans is behaving crazy uh, so ignore this it actually doesn't take any arguments um, so I click OK mm. so uh, if you look at it here the main was about to sleep uh, and then the child was about to sleep and then the main got awake, uh, got awake first and then uh, it got to execute this line and it got 10 after which a child thread came in and then it set the same value d to 0 it is uh, though there is a very little time difference out here uh, it's pretty hard to uh, debug this problem in a normal JVM which is Java uh, but uh, let us uh, do the same thing using JPF uh, for simplicity, I'm just uh, going to uh, use the NetBeans plugin facility and then right click it and uh, verify, uh, which will call this, um, which will use this properties and then uh, run racer.java in uh, uh, the JVM of uh, Java Pathfinder. Uh, so I'm right clicking it and then I do a verify. And uh, Just a second. And there you go. Uh, JPF precisely predicted that uh, there is a race condition when, uh, and it also uh, tells you 
uh, about which thread got to execute this and then uh, this said this particular thing and then it also says uh, there is a race condition there's a read out here and there was right here so after this write, there was this read uh, which led to the race condition so uh, this way we can see precisely Java's uh, JPF is very good at finding a race condition uh, thanks for watching the video